how's it going all you most amazing top teners? Welcome back, I'm Landon, and this right here is like the top 10 things that school should prepare you for. I think school is so damn hard, and when you get into college university, you're way too young, you're so unprepared. I mean, I was unprepared, I went to school for architecture, and ended up doing YouTube. How did that work out? Sometimes things just work out. This is our top 10 channel, where we take interesting, crazy, and wonderful topics from around the world, we compile them into a top 10 list for your entertainment. Let's get right into it, starting off in at number 10. With simple conversation and communication skills. In this modern time, students are resorting to communication techniques via texting, email, or through social media. It is a rarity today to actually use your cell phone to make a phone call. Conversations with coworkers, bosses, loved ones, dates, friends, neighborhoods, and acquaintances is a skill that is being lost with the younger crowd. Schools need to prepare students on how to connect with others, be empathetic, and know when to speak and when to listen. These skills are very important in the workplace and in interpersonal relationships. And at number nine, we have self-defense. Learning self-defense can be necessary in protecting the well-being of yourself. It would be better to know how to defend yourself and never need to, than to need to defend yourself and not know how to. Most schools offer lessons on how to dance, but wouldn't self-defense classes be served better for students? Basic self-defense skills should be taught at all schools because the knowledge of these skills could mean preservation of life and limb. Next up, in at number eight is time management. We suck at this. Assignments, tests, essays, and exams are expected by teachers to be studied for and completed within certain time constraints by students. However, teachers don't really educate the students on how to time manage their time effectively. Time management and efficiency is not only helpful in school, it is very important in our daily lives as we get older. Students would feel a lot less pressure. They won't stress as much, they won't be sleep deprived because they wouldn't be cramming the night before to study for like a really big exam. Lucky number seven brings us to learning how to cook and prepare prepare food. I suck at cooking because I wasn't taught. Cooking is essential to life and I'm hungry all the time and it's beneficial to eating healthy. Cooking at home generally saves money over you know eating at restaurants. Granted there are classes such as home economics in high school but it is considered an elective so not everyone is introduced to the cooking skill. Me, I skipped it. I didn't take it. So in order to live a healthier lifestyle school should incorporate the basics of cooking, food preparation, safety, and hygiene as a part of the basic curriculum. I'm pretty sure me, I was building like a wood house instead of learning to cook, which I should have got my priorities straightened out. Maintaining your home and car takes us into number six. As a future homeowner, there will be potential costly repairs and replacements to your home that will be inevitable and knowing how to do them can actually save a homeowner's money. So I'm talking about painting, plumbing, carpentry, and the basics of electrical work are very valuable skills to have. A lot of these things are very easy to do, but very costly. Also repairing and maintaining your car is another important skill to be familiar with. Regular maintenance can save on repair bills, such as changing the oil, maintaining proper air pressure in the tires, and knowing how to change the tire are all important skills to have to do. Also, knowing which vehicle to buy and which to avoid based on their performance and safety ratings, and which holds the most resale value is another good thing to know. Number five brings us to establishing credit. Learning how to establish and maintain good credit is a very valuable skill that is not taught in school. A lot of people don't know if they even have good credit. Everyone starts off with no credit, which isn't the bad thing, but it's not helpful when you're trying to get a loan or buy a home. So credit needs to be established. So maybe no credit is bad credit. So getting a major credit card, not maxing out on your card, making payments on time are very important to steadily build your credit. Schools should teach their students how to check their credit credit card score and how to read their statements. Making your way into number four spot, we have how to get adequate health care. Students need to be taught at least the basic facts about getting and maintaining health care, especially if they're from a country that doesn't offer free health care, such as the United States. You have the Obamacare and these other craziness. I realize that not every healthcare situation can be covered in a classroom. However, the general and basic things should be taught. The difference between health, vision, and dental care, and how the premiums are affected. All of these topics would make a great starting point to teach students how to make informed decisions about their healthcare. Number three brings us to finding a job. The goal of the educational system is to prepare students to engage in the
the workforce and become self-sufficient. You want to be productive contributing members of society. However, schools fail to teach their students how to successfully find a job, you know, apply for a job, build a good resume and cover letter. The interview process, what do you say, what are the do's, what are the don'ts, and understand and negotiate employee contracts. Schools should conduct mock interviews in which students should go through a simulated interview process to learn what is beneficial or what is detrimental to yourself. So some schools the very basics are learned, but maybe we should go a little bit more in depth. We're now in at we should learn about first aid. Accidents can happen any time and are being equipped with the knowledge and skill of first aid is important to the health and potentially to the life of yourself and others. In extreme events, this knowledge could mean the difference between life or death. Looking for appropriate warning signs for things such as concussions, frostbite, heat exhaustion, dehydration, not breathing, and etc. Knowing how to apply CPR, clean and dress a wound, prevent infections, apply the Heimlich maneuver, applying a tourniquet are just a few important aspects that could be taught to students in school and they have very beneficial life-saving consequences. Well in at number one we have managing personal finances. Math classes should incorporate real world case scenarios in order to educate people about the basics of budgeting, debt, compounding interest and savings and we shouldn't be learning about triangles. I'm sorry it's not useful in my life. Their curriculum could also include information about credit cards, interest rates, credit ratings, and also retirement accounts. Schools should also teach students about student loans and how to get out of debt. Most importantly, teachers should educate their students on how to do their taxes and the basis of getting a mortgage. The importance of handling money responsibly is obviously very valuable in our daily lives, but it is often overlooked by the educational system. So there you guys have it. This was the top 10 things I think schools should teach us about. I'm not saying Every school doesn't cover any of this. I'm just saying maybe some schools don't cover enough. They don't cover in depth. Let me know what else you guys would like to learn in school in the comment section below. Maybe we can make a part two. Thanks for watching this one. I'll see you in the next one. So let me know guys what top 10 videos would you like to see next in the comment section below. And if you guys want to continue watching videos, look right over here. You guys can give one of those a click. Hit that like button if you liked this video as well. If you didn't, no worries. Hopefully you'll like tomorrow's video. And I'll see you guys there. Bye.